Hey everybody, I'm Dominic. In this video, I'm going to show you a problem that we're having here. Uh, when we're taking a shower, we're not, we're not getting a, a crazy amount of water pressure in the shower head. But the reason why is because our tub spout, where normally uh, in this particular setup, we have a, a little blockage here. We pull this up, this would block the water from coming out of our tub spout, then would follow up, boom, coming out of the shower head. So if I go ahead and do that, now our shower head here is a removable one. So turn the water on, right? That's great. Take a bath. I'm going to pick it up. Yeah, it blocks some of it. And now, so we're getting half of it out of the tub and half of it out of the shower head. Really, what we want to do is remove and replace this whole tub spout. Now, a lot of times, you'll find even these will, will get stuck here. Now, it uses uh, pressure to actually seal against it. And this one is old, it's worn out. So now we're gonna have to remove it. And removing it, well, that could be fun. There's really two different types. Mainly, you're gonna find ones that will unscrew, so, you know, lefty loosey. Uh, and other ones right in the middle here on the back, you look up in there, uh, hopefully, if you can with mirror, and you find a set screw, and you can on, uh, on, just loosen that screw up and actually pull that out of the pipe. Uh, not that common as far as I'm concerned. Okay, but uh, removing this, because it's, you know, I mean, come on, how often do we really uh, replace these? Uh, this one's been on here for what, at least 25 years, I, 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 I would imagine. Uh, so removing them, if you're lucky, they could come out easy. Uh, if you're lucky, you're going to take it out without breaking anything. Uh, this one here, I already loosened it up for the video uh, to make sure it wasn't going to break. It would be a senseless video. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead. So here, we're just going to unscrew it. Again, it didn't come out like this the first time. There we go. You can see the threads in there. And obviously, you see your threads here. This has got some Teflon tape. Now, I don't have any uh, Teflon tape for this video. So let's pretend, okay? Here we go. Stop. All right, now I've got just unscrewed it, but I'm going to show you how to really do it. You, you're really not going to use any tools. If you, if you need a tool, I mean, chances are you're going to break that copper pipe that's going in there. So you just grab it with two hands really strong and just turn it. And slowly, you can see you can go fast, just slowly, all right, and then unscrew it, okay? Uh, now, this one is a, is a, a plastic one. So if you know you have plastic, and it's not always e that easy to tell, believe it or not, uh, especially on the older ones, uh, you could actually uh, drill a hole in here, uh, get, use a hacksaw, cut a hole in it perhaps, um, and then even apply some heat to the threads in there. Uh, you know, there's, other, there's lots of ways of going about it. This, really, the last thing you want to do is break uh, the 90 that this is connected to, which is in the wall, okay? So again, like I said, I don't have any Teflon tape on me for the purpose of this video. I will, of course, do it uh, later on. Now, this new one here uh, is only like 20 bucks at the stores. This one is actually metal, okay? So, uh, not every one of them. I mean, look, looks pretty, uh, pretty much the same, right? But even a quarter inch can make a big difference where this line may not come out far enough. Uh, fortunately, this one uh, does, but I can feel that it is kind of short, so we definitely won't even want Teflon tape. I'm going to get it, and, all right, and you want it tight, you know, nice and, you know, snug without breaking it again, and, of course, even like that. And, of course, I mean, what good would it be if it's going to shoot that way? Okay, so, again, let's go through it. We're going to turn our water on now. Okay, there's our water. I'm going to plug it up, and look at that, one shot, and now we have a lot better pressure for our shower. It's really, it's really that simple, and you see when we turn the water off, that our spout releases, and any waters can just fall down. Well, that's basically how you do it. The hardest thing about this is removing the old one, and wow, I tell you, uh, good luck, you guys, because... <laughs> They're not always that easy.